to serve. Hey, thank you some volume, boys. During the like performance, that. feel free to clap, group, holler, and even laugh, because sometimes we're fun. And now, make some noise. And the ninja experience. by applause. So keep that in mind as you see our two uh, competitors face off today. And number three, you guys are probably wondering what sort of stunts will I be performing? The answer is absolutely none. I'm Canadian, not crazy. I got professionals for that though. So, <laughs> setting up a battle of the island here today, our first ninja all the way from the island of Hispaniola, the Haitian sensation, please welcome to the stage, Vertical Burn. all the way from Puerto Rico via Orlando, Florida. Not the most, but the next best thing. My main man, please give a warm welcome to Suave Jave. Somebody got into the pre-workout today. And of course, your host with the most, all the way from the meeting, our 50 Incredible Life. Oh, yeah. A little force, a little force, but that's okay. It's not about me, it's about these guys. So gentlemen, grab a spot nice in front of the front and center stage. The steps are right there. It's up to you. So, we're gonna start off with a warm-up trick. Warm-up trick for us, warm-up trick for you as well. In a moment, these two guys are gonna be doing two high stall backflips off of these Kong boxes. When their feet hit the ground, I want you guys to make some noise, let people know a show has started over here. If anything other than their feet hit the ground, make some noise anyway, then call 911. This lady's ready, that's great. Good to see you. But it could happen again, knock on wood. Guys, give us a countdown, everyone together, please, from five to one. Five, four, three, two, one. Double layer obstacle course going one way, coming back the other side. But before we get to that, the Travis is our parkour course. So this one sets us aside for most of the show. Parkour, also known as tracing, also known as free running, is the art of getting from point A to point B as quickly and stylistically as possible, often using environmental factors to your advantage, not letting anything slow you down. So our ninjas today are going to be showing off their individual movement styles in hopes to impress you fine folks. I think that's enough talk. You guys want to see some action? Oh yeah! All right, Bert, give me a little taste. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that looks good. Yep. 
I will let you folks know in the front row, you are in the splatter zone. So if you see something big and wood coming closer and closer to you, hands up or duck, because it is. And for real, man, you might want to angle your carriage. Ah, she's got it. All right. I'm back. Sorry to leave with my thumbs. Before we bring you back here, they're, they're right there. I swear it's so much easier. No, well, I'm going to show you. I do get to do one stunt in the show. You guys want to see it? Yeah. I'm going to do it anyway. What I have in front of you here is called the Yak Scooter, also known as the Jaws of Steel. Four boards suspend between 15 pounds of spiked steel. These stunt requiring focus and fearlessness. I'm going to be chopping my way through those boards quick enough so the steel does not come down and break every bone in my hand. But I can hear what you're saying. You're saying that's too easy. You're saying do with fire! Yeah. yeah! You're saying borrow my lighter! Yeah! Just like kid, apparently. Actually, does anyone have a lighter I could borrow that would be really handy? Sure, healthy, but do you really have a lighter, kid? Do you have a lighter? Yeah, throw it over there. That's okay, I'll die for it next time. Luckily, it's odd things I'll be able to find it. What's unique? Pardon me? Unique? Why did you say so? Oh, unique, I got a question for you. Ninjas, good or bad? Both. Depends. Actually, that's pretty accurate. Ninjas were the original bad guys. They st practice their uh, skills of stealth and subterfuge to be able to get into and out of your house as quickly as possible. And I want you to know, Unique, that I keep the old ways alive. Thank you for the lighter. <laughs> we'll come back at the end of the show. No, actually, we do come prepared. We got our special Ninja Fernzomatic propane port and a bit of fire fluid here. Now, fun fact. Up north in Canada, this is known as kerosene. Of course, here in America, you guys call it lighter fluid or starter fluid. But in Russia, what? Uh, all jokes aside, I am in fact a professional fire artist, and I have been practicing these stunts and many like them for well over 15 minutes. And hopefully, it works. You smell burning hair. Remember, it's not a magic show. I apologize. All right, everyone together, please. A drum roll on the knees. Three, two, one. Yeah! Oh my lord! Now we're gonna clear this up in a couple of days, but still, don't try that home. That's not. One little bonus trick. You guys want to see a bonus trick? Yeah. Little bonus stunt. You guys want to see me play out the easy way or the hard way? Hardware stupid way? Yeah. Stupid way or dangerous way? Dangerous. Everyone likes the dangerous way. Oh, not quite. Oh, okay. Kids, don't try any of that at home. I really am making that Now we're going to clear the stage here because I think it's time we bring back Suave Hame and see a couple of his parkour stylings. What do you guys say? Yeah. All right, Avi, come on back out here. Your audience wants to see what you got. Woo! All ready? Yes. So, Avi, Bird gave us a bit of a run earlier. Let's see if you can fix it up. Show them something you haven't seen before. on as well. Now, where do you want me there, Avi? So there, now, that's a safe height, but do we want a safe height? Yeah, we don't want oh, you guys want higher, say higher. Higher. I don't know. Do you guys want higher, say higher. Higher. If hey. you want higher, say higher. Higher. That's all I got. We grow short in the north. <laughs> all right. Again, not everyone was into it. I think we're gonna have to up the ante. If you guys want more danger, say yeah. 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 Danger, say oh yeah. Oh yeah. Volunteer for more danger, say oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, boss, but that's okay. I'll work with it. I need three child volunteers. Three child volunteers. Really, this is three child volunteers. Bill, can I grab you in the green hat? Yes, right there. You're so wearing a green hat. I think it's green anyway. I am colorblind, so you know, 50 50. Hey, you come right over here, man. We'll clean that up between shows. A right during the bullets, so, uh, <laughs> That's what he said, right during the bullets. Actually, we're mixing it up. We need you to come over here, bud. And what's your name? Spencer. Spencer, how old are you? Ten. You never did Spencer, but when I was your age, I was also ten. True. So, your time works. Okay, you stand right over there, Spencer. So, in a moment, you're going to be taking a running start towards the trampoline. You're going to do a little hop right here to get some initial air. Hit the trampoline over the kid. Don't hit that kid. Don't hit that kid. Don't hit that kid. Don't hit that one. I'm okay with this one. He's not mine. So, I, okay, Spencer, are you ready? For real though, don't hit any of the kids. You'll be fine. Kids, nice and close together. We can crash into Spencer for a little bit, but he's still a bit rusty. Okay, cool. Spencer, on from five to one. Everyone together, please. Five, four, three. He's actually going to do it. Don't do it, Spencer. Don't do it. Man. Change spots with Vern. Once in a while, a kid is so committed. Like, fine. He's a professional. He's got a mic. I'll just listen to the loudest guy here. All right. Now, Vern is going to be taking a high flip over all these shoulders. Kids, shoulders nice and tight. This is your last chance. Are you okay? You're good? Okay. I just saw you shaking your head. I want to check in. All right, folks. Set your cameras to awesome. Hey, if you can do us a favor, tag the Ninja Experience. On Facebook and on Instagram, does us a solid to tell people about the show. On Burns count, watch is five to one. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Look at that, we have to have a laugh at all. Come on, give a high five. The only way we let you back to your family. Thank you guys so much. Go back to your family. Thanks for helping out. At the end of the show, be sure to come by after. Get on with it! Our ninjas are going to have one last chance to impress upon you their individual parkour styling using our parkour course, especially for anyone who came a little bit later. But as they enter the stage, our first obstacle up and to my right, my boy in blue, the stair stepper ladder. Ladder with each bone set a little bit off center for the next one, two, three, and then transferring over to the trapeze. Trapeze is a standard piece of gymnastic equipment, but today it only leads to something a little bit less standard, and that is our ring. Now, rings are typically hanging on safe things, like ropes or straps. We're not doing any of that safety nonsense. These are hanging on high gloss ball hitches. Ball hitches with about that much room for error. So, as they hook them hand over hand, one, two, three, four, five, working their way across the X, any slip, miscalculation, splat in front of you, disqualification. One, two, three, four, five, and then on to the deceptively simple wind chimes. I say deceptive because so far everything here has been an overhand or an underhand grip. The wind chimes, however, require a vertical grip, putting extreme stress on the wrist and the forearms. And as we found with a bit of fatigue, a bit of humidity, or a bit of sweat, very slippery. We had five falls on our last show run alone. Past the wind chimes, up the trussing, and starting across the backside with the cargo net. Cargo net has a sudden one foot drop. It's very wobbly, and we had some damage to it a couple days ago, so still a bit on the sketchy side. But it's going to be a breeze compared to our cube of death. My personal favorite. 50 pound cube suspended between two steel rods. It needs to be rotated end over end. You have complete upper body strength, core stability, and whatever is left of their endurance to clear the 10 foot span before they drop down to the Lache bars. As they drop down to the Lache bars, their last obstacle is the California style wobble board, shuffling their way across it using what's left of their grip strength. And when their feet hit right here, you guys have one job, one job up only, and that's to let them know they did a good job. So, I think it's time we bring our first competitor back to the stage once again, all the way from Puerto Rico. Give it up once again for Wasabe Suave Jave.
You can start this off as you see fit. The off the course is the only thing you have to do in order. You can mix it up though on the par 4 run. There is a little extra bonus bell up there. If you feel like striking it in an interesting way, it's not worth any points, but maybe a little gear to our audience. Are you ready? You guys ready? Yeah! Alvin, your time begins. Now. Gymnastic center, tumbling, trampoline park, anything that gets that blood flowing and gets you moving because if we don't stop playing, neither should you guys. Every guy speaks for itself. Alright, I'm gonna be taking a moment here to reset our stage. Give another round for Suave Hobby. Alright, I don't think anyone noticed. Alright, Vern. So same as before, same as Hobby. You can start and stop as you see fit. The off the course is the only thing you have to do in order. Try to work the parkour course in. Hobby uh, did do an inverted kick on the bell, so maybe mix it up a little bit. Try show some people something a bit different. You ready? Yeah, we gotta do it anyway. This is a contract thing. Your time begins now. Love it. I got a question for you now. 
What did you find was the hardest obstacle here today? <laughs> Honestly, it's all those stairs, man. Those things scare me. <laughs> no, we touched them. I agree. Yeah. And what uh, what got you inspired? What got you, you started down this road? Always out of like Jackie Chan or whatever he did, I followed. I just never stopped. All right, all right. I'm noticing the pattern of uh, fiction mimicking reality down the road. And last question, this one is really more of a me question, though I'm sure lots of people here want to know as well. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Yes! Yes! yes. There we go! Pineapple does not go on pizza. I liked you, sir, right up until there. You were one of my favorites. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, I think it's time we figure out who our winner here is today. You've had plenty of opportunity to make your judgment between the ninjas. So let's That's bring back Suave Jave once again. Oh, and figure out how it's gonna wrap up. So, in a moment I'm gonna introduce one of our ninjas. If you think they deserve to win, I want you guys to make some noise. Don't let me misinterpret anything. On three, if you believe Suave Jave deserves to win. One, two, three! Yeah! Alright, yeah, pretty loud. Some people holding back. On three, Vertical Bird deserves to win. One, two, three. Yeah! Are we? I, I feel like we were 50-50. Maybe like 55, 45. I'm not entirely certain. For Jave? Yeah! For Bird? Woo! Are we on a draw? I think we're starting. You're not sure? You're, you're not so sure? You know what? I think we got a draw. First show of the day, and this one is going to pan out as a draw. Yeah! This is Ave, this is Vern. My name is Isaac. We're the Ninja Experience, and you guys have been lovely. Thank you. Yeah!